Hello and welcome to Recyclist. It's September 13th, 2024. I'm your host, Eric Provost, and this is your weekly roundup of all the biggest news stories in the world of waste, gas, and energy presented by Diamond Scientific. First things first, and as always, let's take a quick look at the stock market and five stocks on the move this week within the world of waste, gas, and energy. As of September 13th, 2024, GFL Environmental is currently sitting at $40.03 a share. Casella Waste Systems is up to $108.06 per share. Waste Connections is now trading at $185.68 per share. Republic Services is sitting at $205.79 per share. And Waste Management is up to $208.05 per share. But up first in the news, expanding on a recent report, researchers at Wood McKinsey estimate that renewable natural gas production capacity has nearly doubled over the last five years to about 300 million cubic feet per day, still just a fraction of the 2.2 billion cubic feet per day they predict could be produced by the year 2050. Dulles Wang, the director of Wood McKenzie's American Gas and LNG research team, said, quote, Landfills are everywhere, but landfill to RNG development isn't everywhere. We do think there are probably still areas or regions that could need more support or more investment for the development. The report also highlights how the industry is consolidating. These days, seven developers are responsible for about 60% of the RNG market. That consolidation, according to Wood McKenzie, could lead to operational efficiencies as developers and operators become more familiar with how to start up and run their facilities. And up next, we have several stories that speak directly to that consolidation Wood McKenzie was talking about. First up, Apollo recently announced through their so-called Apollo funds, they have acquired a majority interest in Texas RNG company Freedom. Founded in 2012, Freedom operates a growing network of high-capacity fueling stations in highly trafficked locations in the Houston metro area, providing RNG to transportation companies, refuse companies, municipalities, school districts, and other high-volume fuel users in support of their decarbonization objectives. Apollo partner Scott Browning said, quote, Freedom has developed a strong portfolio of RNG fueling stations with meaningful growth potential driven by established relationships with blue chip customers and attractive new development opportunities. We look forward to working with the Freedom team to continue expanding Freedom's platform through organic and inorganic growth initiatives in a market where we see the need for significant investment given the tailwinds that exist. End quote. Up next in acquisitions, according to a recent report, Jivo Incorporated is set to buy Red Trail Energy's ethanol plant and carbon capture and storage facility in Richardson, North Dakota, with plans to produce sustainable aviation fuel from ethanol in a $210 million deal with the company that's been in operation for 17 years. The acquisition will give Jivo a total sequestration capacity of 1 million metric tons per year. That includes 160,000 metric tons per year currently being used by Red Trail. The deal also includes Red Trail's 65 million gallon ethanol plant that started production in 2007 as one of the first coal-fired ethanol plants in the country and converted to natural gas in 2016. And we've saved the most expensive acquisition for last as Canada-headed Methanex Corporation, the world's largest methanol producer, has announced it has entered into a definitive agreement to acquire OCI Global's international methanol business for $2.05 billion. The transaction includes OCI's interest in two world-scale methanol facilities in Beaumont, Texas, one of which also produces ammonia. The transaction also includes a low-carbon methanol production and marketing business and a currently idled methanol facility in the Netherlands. Rich Sumner, president and CEO of Methanex, said, quote, This is a unique opportunity to create value by acquiring two highly attractive North American methanol assets that will further strengthen our global production base, and we expect it will be immediately accretive to free cash flow per share. 
The Beaumont plants benefit from access to North America's abundant and favorably priced supply of natural gas feedstock, and we are expected to increase our global methanol production by over 20%. End quote. And just a reminder, Recyclist is a registered trademark of Diamond Scientific, an industry leader in gas analysis, instrumentation, and solutions. Make sure to visit them online at diamondsci.com. That's diamondsci.com. Or you can even set up a personalized presentation by calling 321-223-7500. Now on with the news. Up next, expanding on our first story about Wood McKenzie and the growth of the renewable natural gas industry over the past year, the Coalition for Renewable Natural Gas recently announced a major milestone in the growth of the industry, with 433 facilities now operational across North America. This achievement represents a significant leap from just a year ago, when the North American RNG industry celebrated the establishment of 300 facilities, making a remarkable 44% growth within just one year. RNG Coalition founder and CEO Johannes Escudero said, quote, This is a significant milestone in the advancement of our mission and sustainable methane abatement and recycling timeline. We are proud of what our organization and industry have accomplished together, but we are focused on the next benchmark and on even broader energy sector adoption of RNG as a critical component in our society's transition to a cleaner, more sustainable future. End quote. And next, Amp Americas, a dairy methane capture and renewable natural gas company, announced this past week that its projects have reduced more than 2 million metric tons of carbon dioxide equivalent emissions since 2012, equivalent to the emissions of more than five natural gas-fired power plants in one year. AMP Americas partners with dairy farmers across the United States on projects that reduce methane emissions from dairy waste. Grant Zimmerman, CEO of AMP Americas, said, quote, For 12 years, we have worked alongside farmers to make a real, quantifiable impact on greenhouse gas emissions while improving the air quality in rural communities. Two million metric tons is a milestone we're proud of, especially since there are no other near-term solutions that can tackle methane emissions like our RNG projects. We are grateful for our farm partners and excited to work with them to increase our impact. With access to new markets, AMP will continue additional projects on more and smaller farms across the United States. End quote. And speaking of renewable natural gas production, Fortis BC is officially putting the call out to all RNG manufacturers. They have issued a request for expressions of interest for additional power to meet its customers' growing energy needs and support economic growth in British Columbia's southern interior region. As the company identifies promising projects, Fortis BC said it will work with power providers to bring these new projects online and increase the amount of electricity available for its customers. Joe Mazza, Vice President of Energy Supply and Resource Development at Fortis BC said, quote, As a provider of critical energy services in British Columbia, Fortis BC is committed to providing safe, reliable, and affordable energy to the homes and businesses we serve. As our customers' energy needs grow, we are working with indigenous and local communities, local governments, businesses, and organizations to meet this rising demand. This initiative will also be an opportunity for electricity generation providers to expand and create new jobs here in British Columbia while ensuring that our customers continue to have the energy they need when they need it. End quote. And moving briefly to Bennington, Nebraska for our last story. Waste management is now breaking ground on a new renewable natural gas facility at the Pheasant Point Landfill they say will help reduce greenhouse gases, benefiting the community and the environment. Waste management says this new facility will help cut approximately 50,000 tons of greenhouse gas emissions per year from the landfill. It'll provide enough energy to power about 860 waste trucks or 20,000 homes. This project is just one of 20 waste management is building across the country. It says it is investing more than $1.4 billion in renewable energy from 2022 through 2026. 
And that has been your September 13th, 2024 News Roundup, brought to you by Recyclist, a registered trademark of Diamond Scientific. I've been your host, Eric Provost, and we'll see you back here next week for another brand new episode of Recyclist. Thank you.